a TikTok influencer slash tutor uh, just admitted to copying uh, and just apologize, but uh, there's something that she hasn't addressed yet. Eh. Here's a summary of the bro's Sugar Saga summarized for you. Uh. Don't let's see if you're more used to how she talks, you fake idiot. So, so, uh, so, Bo Lim uh, is a 19 year old uh, who graduated from RI. Uh. I want to marry her because she's very pretty, but thankfully, uh, people cannot get my thoughts. Uh. No, as Sugar uh, she actually has quite a colorful history uh, which you won't be able to find because, according to some netizens, uh, her contents on TikTok are some very different ones. Eh. Like uh, a lot of flexing, uh, you know, the usual influencer style that will make you feel like a loser. Uh. But uh, like since last year, uh, she became an internet darling. Uh. Cause now she like motivational eh, like, much like the female version of Adam Koo ah. Also ah, she ran a 6 digit tuition center ah, that went viral. She then appeared in many news articles about her success ah. But anyways ah, Goodyfeet also got received email asking if we want to interview her or not ah, but we didn't ah. Actually I said one, cause I want to call her but my boss rejected the idiot yeah, my boss. If not ah, I might be already married now say. So ah, this saga started on 18 April ah, when she published ah, an essay about her personal struggle about her mental issue ah. Cause she indicated in her telegram post ah, that she wants to be taken seriously as an essay copywriter and teacher and not just a uh, face of social media okay ma sounds good ma until uh, people realize uh, more than half of her original version uh, was blah, 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 from five different books and eight articles yeah wow the effort uh, the effort uh, the effort Kichu. a group of people uh, sent her a message about that uh. then suddenly uh, the essay was quietly edited on the next day uh. so she then did an apologize video on tiktok uh, and for some reason uh, the anger and the subs are uh, damaged eh. kind of like what she said damaged uh. cause uh, she said that it was a mistake and she apologized but it's a personal essay so nothing to do with a monetized content uh. cause a tuition center got sell pay war contents one ma ba 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 later uh, a tiktok account uh, called Max spicy makes me outside uh. wow good yeah uh. Reviews are uh, there might be some prakara in there as well. Yeah. As of now, uh, Bro hasn't responded to that. Uh. Instead, uh, her family members uh, and her real great great uh, 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 fail. Instead, uh, she responded to another content creator uh, who also claimed that she copied her ideas. For that, uh, okay, uh, maybe she makes a little sense, uh, so I won't talk about that. Uh. Wow, she goes, yeah. Now, uh, if you watch my videos regularly, uh, you know that this sounds familiar. Last time, we got a saga of another tuition center owner, also an influencer, copying her style. It was exposed by an Aragada account, uh, but got people suspect uh, it's broke uh, to generate publicity. We won't know, uh, but anyways, uh, anyways, uh, anyways. Uh, before this saga, uh, do you know about Sugar Aragada and Broke Aragada? No, right? Then welcome to TikTok, uh, but the best way uh, to get publicity uh, is through sagas uh, and not a media release. Because uh, the skills nowadays uh, isn't on how to generate publicity, but how to bounce back from it and then sell UEC. If you think you learned something here, consider subscribing because just like you, I've already cancelled my Netflix and Disney Plus subscriptions. Why pay for drama when you can watch them for free?